What you guys got another video here for you. In this one we're going to be taking a look at Roadkiller's CMD tool. Now I've been asked to do a video on it um, by one of my YouTube members. He says uh, how does it work and what does it do? Well I think it's the same uh, as Roadkiller but it just allows you to run it from the command line i.e. from command prompt. So if you boot it up into uh, safe mode with command prompt you could then run this tool from there okay. You would have to know a little bit about how to locate the tool and how to get yourself to the path of this tool and then run it um, but that's basically in a nutshell. You can run it from there okay. So if you're having problems running stuff i.e. you got ransomware and stuff like that on your system you can use the Roadkiller CMD tool okay. So uh, let me get this started anyway. So we've got um, a machine here and what I'm going to do is quickly um, run this ransomware and put it on the system and this blocks me out okay. So what we're going to do is go into uh, safe mode with command prompt and then we'll um, run that tool that we've got on the desktop and it will just show you how you can uh, run it. Now you can probably run this from other locations but we're just going to be running it from the desktop. So let me reboot into safe mode with command prompt. Okay, I was tapping F8 on the keyboard on reboot and we've got into the advanced boot options. So let's just say that you're blocked out of safe mode and safe mode with networking, but it allows you to get into safe mode with command prompt. You can then load this up. Okay, so we're at the safe mode with the command prompt window here. And uh, what we need to do here is um, locate that file, okay? So what you would need to do is um, get to a location. Let me just uh, go back here to the C command prompt. And once you're back there, we can now change directory to the desktop. And as long as you know how to use um, command prompt or these commands, you'll be fine, okay? So what we're going to need to do here is put the name of the user and then desktop like so and that's going to change the directory to users, Brytec and the desktop okay. Now once we've done that you can see it's now been changed and now we need to locate our file. Now we know the file is on our desktop, we can type dir and see the file on the desktop roadkillercmd.exe and now we can run that from there okay. So all I'd need to do here is um, type in the name of that program, Roadkiller CMD, like so, and then .exe. Now this will give me some switches that we can use, and as you can see here, we've got the kill PID uh, number. You can put your uh, kill the um, PID number, and you can also um, run a scan from here. And this is what we're going to do. Okay, so we're just going to do a scan. So we could just push the up arrow key just to get that back up without typing it and then we could do space dash and scan and this is now going to run a scan of our system and what they will do is it will run a scan and it'll be a pretty lengthy scan so you just have to be patient and then it will run its scan and hopefully find the infection that you have on the system and then remove it which will allow you to get back to your desktop and you can then run other scans so we'll let this continue So that's the scan now complete and uh, as you can see here it's found some uh, stuff here, scan finished. You can see it's uh, found the run uh, cophack.exe, it's found that suspicious path and it's found some other bits and pieces here as well. Okay. Now also when you run through here you will see some other bits and pieces uh, in red um, here and you can roll through this if you want or you can just go ahead and type your command to kill. Now you can remove this by just typing remove or you can do the remove dash delete pum there if you wanted to. Um, we're just going to type in there remove like so just as it suggests do that and it will then remove those from the system okay. So from here we can uh, type in there explorer like so and this will open this up we can then close that off and reboot our system back to our desktop. Okay, 
and there we are back at our desktop and uh, I would suggest that you run other scans with other programs you can use Hitman Pro, Malwarebytes and all these other tools to uh, check for any other uh, rubbish that's left on the system you can clear out all your temporary files and stuff like that just to make sure there's no remnants left behind okay but that's basically how you use the Roadkiller CMD tool pretty useful little tool and uh, a good little uh, program for removing uh, ransomwares and rogues and other stuff like that okay Anyway, so I hope this one helps you out. My name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. If you find the video useful, then give us a, a thumbs up. Uh, it really helps me out. And also hit the subscribe button, guys, if you want to keep up to date when I upload new videos. This will notify you when I've uploaded a video, and then you can watch it, okay, at your own leisure. So thanks again for watching, guys, and thanks for your uh, support. Bye for now.